everyone, it's Mio and today I have a really exciting tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make this cute miniature Starbucks EOS lip balm container. As you can see, it's a very tiny container compared to the original Starbucks cup and I'm using an EOS lip balm as the base container. But if you have a different lip balm, you can absolutely use that as the base container as well. So if you're allergic to EOS or you want to use a different one, you absolutely can. I love EOS lip balms because these containers are so cute, but I think it would be even better to have a miniature Starbucks Frappuccino cup. I think this is really adorable and it makes a great gift since the holidays are just around the corner. Now if you don't have EOS, you can use a different lip balm and that's exactly what I did for this tutorial here. I actually used an EOS and a different lip balm in case you don't have EOS at home. So let's get started. You will need a miniature Dixie cup. I bought these at my local grocery stores. They're little beer pong cups. Really, really tiny, really, really cute. And you're going to need an EOS lip balm. As you can see, it fits right into the tiny little Dixie cup. For the lid of your Starbucks cup, I'm using a 50 to 75 cent toy container that you can get at Walmart or your local grocery store. As you can see, it actually fits the Dixie cup perfectly, but if you have one that you need to resize, don't worry, that's exactly what I did here. Now I'm going to start by recoloring the red cup into a nice coffee color. I'm just using some spray paint. I'm going to spray paint the whole red cup until it looks all one solid color and just let it dry. Now if you want to use different colors like a pink for strawberry or a darker brown for mocha, you absolutely can. I just like the traditional coffee colored frappuccino. If your cup is dry, you can actually resize it if you want to. I'm just cutting the top part of the trimming to make the cup smaller. And the smaller the cup is, the cuter the little container looks. And if you have a different lip balm inside from EOS, this is how you can resize the cup to fit it. Now for the top part, you're actually going to need a hole at the very top so you can put your straw on through your lid. I'm using a clay tool here, just a piece of metal. I put it through a candle so it would make it nice and hot. It would melt the plastic when I put my clay tool through it. And with a pair of scissors, I'm just sticking it through the hole and making the hole larger. During this step, you'll notice small pieces of plastic are being shredded off and it took me about 25 minutes before I could get a much larger size hole like you see here. Please be safe when you're doing this process. Have adult supervision if you're not comfortable using a fire or a sharp pair of scissors. Now this is what my container looks like so far and it's actually too large for my cup so I'm going to resize the lid by taking a pair of scissors and cutting off about a few millimeters on the bottom so it can fit my cup a little bit better. As you can see, the diameter of my lid is actually still too large for my cup, but don't worry, we're going to put a rim around the cup. But before we do, let's go ahead and decorate the cup. I went ahead and printed out several different Starbucks logos, and I picked the one that I thought would fit the cup the best. Go ahead and cut out your logo, and before you stick it on, position on the cup to make sure it really does fit well. You want it to have enough space on the bottom and the top so that your logo can be seen very clearly. And once you're happy with it, I just use some regular scotch tape to pretty much tape this logo onto my cup. For those of you guys who are going to use an EOS lip balm, you can go ahead and insert into the cup and the lid to make sure that everything fits. So as you can see here, it fits inside my cup and the lid can cover the EOS lip balm just fine. Everything works out here. Now if you don't have EOS lip balm or you would like to use a different one because you prefer it, that's absolutely fine. I'm actually going to show you how to use this different container of lip balm to go ahead and finish off this tutorial. But if you have the EOS one, go ahead and just put the EOS in the container. The only thing you have to make sure of is that your lip balm will actually fit into your tiny little Starbucks cup like so. So let's start by finishing off the rest of my Starbucks cup. I'm taking some polymer clay and I'm rolling it into a long thin snake. And I'm going to position this long thin snake around the rim of the top part of my Starbucks cup. And go ahead and bake this in the oven. I baked mine for 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's baking, I'm actually going to fill the inside of my Starbucks cup with some air drying clay. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if you're not using an EOS lip balm or a lip balm that fits into your container really well, it's just too small. This is how you can form the filler so that it can hold your lip balm into the right position. Since this is an air drying clay, you can just let it dry, or if you have some hot glue, you can actually super glue or hot glue your lip balm into the container. So now I'm positioning the rim on the very top of my cup, and if you need to, go ahead and super glue it down if it doesn't stand on the very top of the rim. 
So this is what my cup looks like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the finer details. So to form the frosting part of the Frappuccino, I am using Alex Plus silicone, and I'm using a frosting tip that is not used for food. I use this purely for non-edible reasons. And I'm just gonna tape this frosting tip on the very top of my container and practice on a sheet of paper to make sure everything squeezes out well. Gently squeeze your silicone onto the top part of your lip balm. If you don't have a rounded surface, you have a flat surface for your lip balm, that's okay. Just squeeze a little more whipped cream on the very top. Just make sure to spend a lot of time to make the whipped cream look really nice. And if you mess up, don't worry, you can just wipe it off and start all over again. So this is pretty much what my whipped cream will look like. And before I let the silicone dry, I'm going to drizzle it in some chocolate fudge. So all I'm using is some regular fabric paint. This one is Scribbles that I got at my local craft store. And I'm just going to let the fabric paint drizzle all on top. And before everything dries, I'm taking a regular Starbucks straw and I'm going to cut it into a smaller piece. Position the lid on top of all of your whipped cream very gently. And as you can see, this is where the center hole of my lid is at, and that's where I'm going to stick the straw in. You're going to let this sit for at least two days so that it dries really rock hard. You don't want it to be wet while you're doing the rest of this tutorial. So once the top part of your lip balm container is dried completely, you can take a hot glue gun and glue the lid of your frappuccino to the lid of the lip balm container like so. I only applied hot glue on the bottom rim of the container and you should make sure that the two pieces are still able to screw onto each other like so. And that's pretty much how you create this really cute miniature Starbucks cup. And there you guys have it. I hope you really enjoyed watching this tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating this and I absolutely love Starbucks. And I think making these tiny little Starbucks drinks are so cute. And what better way to have a tiny little Starbucks cup that stores your lip balm. The holidays are just around the corner, so if you're still trying to figure out what to give your special someone, a DIY gift such as this I think would make a wonderful gift. For more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And do check out my Instagram and Twitter for more information about things that are going on with me currently. Thank you guys so much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos. And if you guys want to create a coffee flavored lip balm, let me know in the comments below. I'm toying with the idea of creating an EOS coffee flavored lip balm inspired by the Starbucks tutorial I created here. Thanks for watching. Bye!